Did you know that nearly 90% of the information transmitted to the human brain is visual? That's why data visualization is such a powerful tool in data analysis. Welcome back to the Knowledge Academy's YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of data visualization in exploratory data analysis for machine learning. Whether you're a data science newbie or a seasoned pro, mastering EDA can supercharge your predictive models. Let's get started. In this video, we'll explore how data visualization enhances ADA, helping us uncover hidden patterns, identify trends, and make informed decisions. But first, let's clarify what data visualization is and why it's so important. Data visualization is the graphical representation of information and data. By using visual elements like charts, graphs, and maps, data visualization tools provide an accessible way to see and understand trends, outliers, and patterns in data. In essence, data visualization turns complex data sets into visual stories, making it easier to understand and analyze. Data visualization plays a pivotal role in ADA. It transforms raw data into visual context, making complex information accessible and understandable. The key benefits include quick insights, which visually help to identify trends and patterns faster than raw data, better communication, making it easier to share findings with stakeholders. Enhanced data quality for spotting errors and missing values becomes simpler. Sector decision-making, which is visual aid in making informed decisions quickly. Now, let's explore some popular data visualization techniques used in ED are using the house price data set, which we used in the previous videos as well. A link to this data set is given in the description below. First up, we have scatter plots. Scatter plots are a great way to visualize the relationship between two continuous variables. Each point on the scatter plot represents an observation from the data set. By looking at the plot, you can quickly identify whether there is a correlation between the variables and the nature of that relationship that is positive, negative, or none. So let's understand how we can create scatter plot in Python. Here we use house price data set. Suppose we want to create a scatter plot between area and price. For this, we will use matplotlib, pyplot, and pandas library. First, we will import both of them. Then we will load the data set. After that, for both x and y axis, we will define the column. Using matplotlib, we will write the type of plot we want as shown. After this, we will provide the title and label for x and y axis. Then using plt.show, we will display the plot in this example, the scatter plot helps us see how the area of a house affects its price, potentially revealing trends like linear relationships or clusters. Next, let's talk about histograms. Histograms are used to understand the distribution of a single variable. They show the frequency of data points within specified ranges, called bins. This helps in understanding the underlying distribution, identifying skewness and spotting outliers. Let's make a histogram for price column of house price. For this, we will need matplotlib, pyplot pandas, and seaborn library. Here, we will load a data set. Then, for creating histogram, we will use sns.hisplot as shown. Then, give a title and label for x and y axis. Then, to display, we will use plt.show and run it. The histogram shows how many data points fall into each bin, allowing us to see the shape of the data distribution whether it's normal, skewed, or has any peaks. Moving on to box plots, box plots, also known as whisker plots, provide a summary of a data set distribution through five main metrics, that is minimum, first quartile or Q1 median, third quartile or Q3, and maximum. They're especially useful for comparing distributions and identifying outliers. Now let's create a box plot for price column of house price data set using pandas and matplotlib library here also first, we will import libraries, load the data set, then for box plot, we will write it as data, box plot, then the column name is shown, then we will give title to the plot and put label on X and Y axis, then to show the plot, we will write plt.show. Here, the box plot displays the spread and skewness of the data, highlighting the central tendency and variability while also indicating potential outliers. Lastly, let's look at pair plots, also known as scatter plot matrices. Pair plots are a collection of scatter plots organized in a grid, comparing each pair of variables in a data set. 
This is incredibly useful for understanding relationships and interactions between multiple variables at once. Now to create pair plot, we will use house price dataset with pandas and Seaborn library. We will import both the libraries, then load the data. Then for pair plot, we will write sns.pairplot as shown. After that, we will give title for it and use plt.show to show the pair plot. In this pair plot of the data set, we can observe how different features correlate with each other and identify patterns across the variables, which is crucial for multivariate analysis. And there you have it, a comprehensive look at how data visualization enhances exploratory data analysis in machine learning using the house price dataset. Remember, the right visuals can unlock deeper insights and set the stage for building robust predictive models. In the next video, we will learn about the last stage that is data modeling of exploratory data analysis with machine learning. Stay tuned to learn more exciting and demanding things in machine learning. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting and informative content. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update.